in, in a nutshell what the senator from Utah has just said. That is, if we pass legislation, if the House passes legislation, that we will not go to conference unless certain conditions are imposed on those conferees that uh, happen to be important to the, a group, a small group of the United States senators. Obviously, that will paralyze the process here. Obviously, you ca you've got to, you can predict the outcome. The senator from Utah keeps talking about backroom closed door deals. Uh, uh, the, the, it's the process of the Senate to appoint conferees and the House to appoint conferees, and those conferees come to agreement and then subject their agreement to an overall vote of both bodies. Uh, if, the, if the senator from Utah wants to get rid of the, quote, backroom, all of the other adjectives and adverbs that he used, then what is, what is the process? What, what is the process? How do we reconcile legislation that's passed by one body and the other body? Uh, there's a, that's what we've been doing for a couple of hundred years. Perhaps the senator from Utah doesn't know about that, the fact that it couldn't, even if they did raise the debt limit, it could not become law because it doesn't go to the President of the United States. So again, maybe the senator from Utah ought to learn a little bit more about how business has been done in the Congress of the United States. Mr. Budget resolutions, budget resolutions are not signed by the President of the United States. So even if we did vote to increase the debt limit uh, in, as a result of the conference, which by the way would be irrelevant to the work of the, of the conference, then it wouldn't have any meaning whatsoever. And again, uh, this, this business well, of secret back deal making, that's what conferences are about, and conference results are subject to a vote of both houses as to the conference results. Well, I don't. Yeah, I'd be glad to.